Hello everybody, Zerus Race here and welcome to Tempest of the Storm King. We're gonna be uh, dealing with this particularly difficult raid boss, or at least I thought it was difficult, I mean, it might not be that difficult, but I thought it was suitably so. Um, I'm playing with a bunch of randoms just because I couldn't play with anybody that I actually knew when I was doing this. Um, uh, this is just a uh, commentary, if you will, after the fact, because I had a successful attempt, but I kind of wanted to showcase the event itself, with me actually completing it. I had intended to record live commentary for this particular playthrough, but only like halfway through did I realize that my mic was not actually on. So like a smart beam, uh, nothing actually got recorded. So that's that's nice. But anyways, I was just, uh, this is the first time I like I started with a good enough stack. So I was thinking, yeah, it's gonna go well. And then I look at that, and I'm just like, ah, oh, shit, I got like, nope. I was like, ah, I gotta go, and I just, I just didn't make it, I was so close. So I was like, this is, this is right in the beginning. Why am I so unlucky? And I was coming over to this guy to get picked up, and thankfully he does pick me up. Which is nice. uh, he didn't have to, but he took the time, he, he helped me back up, so that's, that's good. So already I was feeling optimistic, because we had better teammates than the last time. I was just like, well, I guess I'll heal myself only to see more destruction right next to me. If I had gone down again right there, I think I would have just quit. But thankfully I didn't, so I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna carry on. And also survived that. Just everything seemed to be depending, descending upon me. Now finally I actually get to do some damage. So the Storm King is like a great boss from WoW, I guess. He has a couple phases to him. You destroy weak points on his body, then you destroy his horn. You destroy weak points, then you destroy his other horn. And then you just do damage to him. And he has a couple attacks, like spawning adds, like he is here. And also, uh, just doing his laser attack, like he's about to be there. And just generally being a team. Yeah, as you can see here, I'm just clearing the adds. Someone needs to do it, and I thought, you know, why not me? Oh, so, killing those, uh, like, ad spawner things it gets you, uh, uh, turrets, which are very useful for dealing damage to him himself. So I plop one down, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll destroy a few weak points. Unfortunately, I didn't see that wave, but thankfully it didn't hit me, so I was feeling quite happy about that. If I had gone down again, I would have been more pissed. So I destroy a weak point, I'm like, yes, finally, I'm getting some shit done. Hell yeah. Only to realize, like, three seconds later, that he's just about to do his wind attack, which destroys all the structures, and there goes my tower. There you go. Yep. So I'm just like, well, shit, now I don't have a tower. And I only really destroyed a single weak point with it, which is a bit of a waste, to be honest. You kind of want to wait for these in the storm horn phase uh, before you uh, use the turret. I wasn't thinking clearly, I kind of just wanted to do some DPS during the first game. There's that. But anyways, we destroyed all the three weak points, and now we have the storm point phase. Which unfortunately I wasn't really focusing on because I was clearing ads once again. Ad clearing is super duper important, and you can even keep on top of it, or else they will swarm. So whilst everybody else was kind of dealing damage to him, I was dealing with the ads. Always a good thing, really. Never a bad thing. Because as I say, they can really build up in the later stages and completely mess you up. So thankfully, I, I just spent some time dealing with the moon, and we did get some good damage on the boss. And so, if you don't destroy the storm horn, it just resets and you deal with weak point damage again. And basically, rinse and repeat over and over again until you kill him. He does introduce different attacks in different phases, which work in different ways. Those are. Uh, interesting enough when they happen, and I'll point them out as and when. Uh, but generally, he'll do three different attacks: chuck a rock, spawn adds, or do his like main laser attack. He will also spawn meteorites later on, and he will also and he'll occasionally throw one out now, but it's only really one. It's way more noticeable later. And he'll occasionally do that, you know, spin attack, destroy structures. Well, it's usually at the end of a phase, like once you kill a weak point, as for example, he'll do it. Thankfully I had my hands on the turret and just like, time to do more damage, and then instantly it went down, and I was just like, shit, again, not paying attention. I got really mad about that, because those turrets are quite rare, and they do a lot of damage, so, 
I was quite pissed about that, I have to be honest. But it's okay, because we're still alive. Anyways, back to the act clearly. I was really looking to hopefully get a legendary weapon or two. Uh, which I didn't end up getting until much later, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. And thankfully, now I've got it into my head that I want to save that turret for the next Stormborn phase, so I don't just waste it straight away, which was uh, good of me, because I would have probably have successfully wasted it had I put it out now, but thankfully, foresight, wonderful thing, or sorry, hindsight, no, it is, wait, yeah, it is foresight. Yeah, foresight is a wonderful thing. Completely forgetting which one's which. Hindsight is when you're looking back in the future. Foresight is looking towards the future. Yes, I know my English. And I was like, oh, yay, I'm going to Let's grab it. Now it gives me three somehow. I don't know how the math added up there, but whatever. I'm basically storming in, in turrets right now, so... Once we destroy that weak point, we are basically set to do some really good DPS. I did wonder whether I should put two turrets down and like indicate for a teammate to come help but unfortunately I couldn't really articulate the fact that hey I have two turrets come to me without actually having to do a communication so I can just jump in and do it myself. As you can see though it does a lot of damage and just as quickly it's gone. We really took quite a while to actually get our momentum together to actually destroy the storm power. Uh Mostly because we suck. <laughs> It takes us forever. But we get there in the end. Mostly just ag clearing. That's 99% of what our team does. And so we have to get our act together and start doing consistent DPS for us. Oh, so I go over to be like the medic of the group, if you will. To use my chunks to actually do these guys to get them off. It's kind of helpful to keep your teammates alive, so I have to take the time to do it. God, he's fucking the fucker, isn't he? Anyways, I realize once again that I am completely fucked if I don't build or protect myself. But thankfully I do both, so... I don't die. Which again, is something that I'm objectively not trying to do. More weak spots, more things we need to destroy. And I get right at it with the pickaxes. Pickaxes do the most damage to these little structured things, so I figure, why not weigh a lot of things away from them? Thankfully it works out. One more weak point to go, we're back in the storm form phase, so I quickly set to work on that. I'll be damned if I'm not gonna do my bit for the team. Finally we get back in the storm form phase. And we all sort of damage it together, which I'm pretty sure means that we actually get through this phase together, like in one go. Yes we do. That's one horn down. One to go. As long as it was. I'm just building up here to give myself some like, little, uh, cover against the meteorites that are going to come in soon. Perfect timing. Here they come. Thankfully, it doesn't. It kind of works out in my favor so I don't actually get hit by the thing. And then there goes my structure. I'm back down to the beginning. Oh well, I tried. It's the fault that counts. Really. More ads, as always. Back to ad clearing. You kind of really want to keep on top of it. I have learned from wiping too many times on this boss that just being on top of the ads is always the way to go. You just do so much better. You can you can uh, outpace the boss, as it were. Plus, there are more of us that can actually do damage to the boss while I clear, so it's not like I'm doing this all on my own. I'm putting up walls to try and defend myself against any like main big attack he might do, but I think I end up wasting a lot more mass than I should have. I was gonna hope it would come in hand, but it never really does, to be honest. Oh well. Also trying to cover this guy and it just doesn't work out at any point. 
but I dropped some meds. I'm like, yes, yeah, take the meds, survive, and oh, thank goodness we built there, because we would have died. More ads incoming. This was basically my job the entire game, is just clear ads with my pickaxes till the end of time. Hey, okay, at least I have a job in it. Proud to be you. Some use. It is the Stormhorn phase, so I am thinking, hey, you know, get in the turret for you a bit. And then I realized, oh great, I'm going to completely waste my mats. How clever of me. So then I say, fuck it. Just deal with everything else. Forget the, forget the horn. I'll get it next time. <laughs> and then finally I see some mats. And I'm like, yes, okay, cool. I'm going to use my uh, thing next time. But boy, I was kind of pissed at myself for completely wasting all my mats. Because I would have been able to do some great damage. We may have actually been able to complete that phase entirely had I uh, had my mats ready. But, oh well. Mistakes were made. same. At this point you all know the drill here. Clear the ads. Clear I remember that now. I remember being incredibly mad that I got launched into him that killed me. I was really worried that I was just gonna die here and wipe. Thank thankfully there was a person here. Who kinda just gets me up after a while. I was quite thankful for that because he was quite worried. This was it for me, and we had gotten so far, I was really pissed, I was just about to die. And he starts getting attacked, and just, ah, I was really worried here. That I got launched into him. If I had died to that, I think I would have just quit for the day, but thankfully I did not. But that guy did, that's what I was worried about. That exact scenario happened to me. Anyways, I probably might kill him. Because I kind of have to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This was a rough bit. I was really worried that we were going to ripe here, so I actually jumped away. Because I'm just like, you know what, I don't want to be near these guys. I try and like, mark to this guy that, hey, I need help. It doesn't work, but he does notice the venture. Which is nice. So then he gets me back up. I'm still in this fight. Oh boy. I was really worried that I was actually going to lose this because it was going so badly in the second half with me just constantly being down. I wasn't even really ready to deal with ads or anything. Thankfully, Stormhorn phase, and we were already pretty close to the end of the Stormhorn forward phase anyways, so, you know. Or not? Oh, one more weak point. I had thought we killed that already. Go ahead. This is the problem with doing commentary after a couple of days after you've recorded. Just forget what you're doing. Oh well. Now I just play Doctor. I was like quickly killing and just hoping that I survive the DPS to this guy. Thankfully it keeps missing so I feel confident. I'll just get more and then tank the DPS. Unless uh, I get some help, which is nice. Anyways, back to weak point layering. Storm horn time, boys. I don't think at this time I had actually noticed how low the storm horn was. If I had, I kind of would have focused my DPS onto it. But I more ad clearing. I remember just thinking in my head, gotta clear the ads, gotta make sure we survive, gotta make sure that no one dies, gotta get them up. I didn't actually factor in just how low the storm thing was. Playing back now, as I say, hindsight 2020. I can see that I should have just probably focused on the storm. Oh well, final phase, hit the motherfucker for you guys. Easy enough. I'll be focusing on that clearing as usual, and then like, when I can, dealing damage to the storm king himself. I was so worried that, that was gonna hit me. Thankfully, we are doing well as a squad. You know, all squad members are still alive, we are all doing good. I use as much healing as possible to try and get the guys up. Finally, I have some mats that I can put down a turret or two. 
took me a long time. Finally, I can do some decent DPS to the boss. I have so many of these turrets now that I have like three ready. I was worried they used to do his laser attack on me, so I actually started moving. And I wasn't far off. That would have been a lot closer had I not been careful. Hold on, key note. Try not to walk into the zone, it doesn't help both well. Oh, he's about halfway there, so I'm just like, you know what? If I clear these ads, that's less people who will be dying. I should really get to plus no one else is focusing on that, they were all focusing on the boss. So, uh, useful to do your bit, you know. As you can see, those meteorites are coming out pretty hard now. You don't really get a break anymore. It's just constant hellfire, the zone's moving in as well, which isn't too obvious, but it is. This is also just hell, but hell, we're reaching the end anyway, if we're about to die. So I'm just like, you know what, here I go. Once again, wasting all my mats though, I was so mad at myself for not putting down some stairs. Like, I just, I just wanted to get the turret out. How many times do I not waste my own burn man? Oh well. He's a dead boy anyways. Yeah! Finally did it. You have no idea, no idea how many attempts this took me. But he a dead boy. Anyways. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.